My next guest, who is introducing a bill to block any of those potential payouts to migrant families who came here during the Trump administration, here now California Congressman Tom McClintock, the top Republican on the House Judiciary's Immigration and Citizenship Subcommittee. Sir, thank you very much for being here. Um, I, I hope you were able to hear that back and forth that we just listened to in the White House briefing room. I did. What's your reaction to it? Well, remember, if you're an American and you're arrested for a crime with a child, we arrest you and take you to jail. We take the child into protective custody. That's what the law requires. That's what Trump did with those who were illegally crossing the border, which is a crime subject to both a fine and a jail term. Uh, and that's what we're going to be paying $450,000 a person to apologize for. Uh, and this is not a settlement negotiation in the, in the uh, real sense of that term. You've got the woke lawyers in the Justice Department and the woke lawyers for the ACLU uh, negotiating a settlement. Well, they're, on, they're both on the same side of the table. You know, it, she is obviously deferring to the Justice Department, saying that they, she really can't speak to the specifics because this is a, an ongoing uh, legal situation where these people are seeking redress from the United States for what they claim was, was done to them. Um, but what do you think about the fact that the other day, I think it was you know, less than 48 hours ago now, the president said the story wasn't true, that it was, quote, garbage. Well, I mean, obviously he was either lying or he's completely out of touch with his administration, neither of which is uh, cause for any uh, uh, sense of um, security by the American people. But the, the, the bottom line is they are negotiating this with each other, uh, uh, and it, it's obscene. Uh, what the Trump administration did was according to the law, and uh, it, uh, it was uh, uh, successful in securing our border, which has now been left wide open since, uh, since Joe Biden took office. And now that we're going to be paying $450,000 as an apology for enforcing our immigration laws, well, Katie, bar the door. We've had the largest in, uh, incursion of illegals uh, on our border in our history. It's going to get worse from here. Well, it, it would certainly be an incentive if those kind of payouts end up happening. Um, where's your, where does your bill stand and how successful do you think the effort would be to block these kind of payments? Well, we have 157 uh, co-sponsors so far, all of them Republicans. It's going to require some Democrats crossing party lines and saying, this is insane. We're not going to follow the radical left down this path any longer. Will that happen? Well, I don't know. I think the uh, chances have improved since Tuesday, uh, but uh, uh, most important, Importantly, it's a shot across the bow of the administration. The American people are watching this. They are appalled, and their representatives in Congress are preparing to take action. We do hold the purse strings, so that does give us uh, some leverage, provided that we have enough Democrats uh, cross party lines to stand with the American people. And again, I'm not overly optimistic about that right now, but after uh, the results on Tuesday, maybe a few of them are feeling the heat and then seeing the light. All right, Congressman McClintock, thank you very much, sir. Good to have you with us today. Thanks for we'll having me. We'll stay on it.